boys and girls, or good afternoon. It's Mrs. King here, and normally I refer to myself as the friendly librarian, but today I'm going to be the real librarian. This is the teen library. The purpose of the teen library is to let you know that you are not alone, and you can trust someone. There are several people you can talk to. I am one of them. So if you have any questions, concerns, just a thought that you want to know about, feel free to stop by and talk to me. So here I am again, Mrs. King, the real librarian. And let me tell you why I started the teen library. Because when I was a kid, I really could have used it. So now, I'm going to be real and tell you some of the things that I went through. When I was four years old, my brother died. He was 17 and he died of cancer. So some of the books that you find in there are on cancer and grief. That's one of the issues that I started out life with. I know you might find this surprising, but as a child, I was what you would call fluffy, and I was stuck wearing the pretty plus size clothes. So one of the things that comes when you're pretty plus is bullying. And so I was always bullied for not being coordinated and for being a little extra lovable. Then when I was 10, my dad died. He not only died when I was 10, he died on my 10th birthday. And the reason why my dad died was because he was an alcoholic and he died from liver disease. And that's one of the reasons why, I mean, to this day, I still seldom take a drink because alcoholism runs in the family so I don't want to be like my dad. After my dad passed away I ended up growing up with two moms. Now it's not your traditional two moms because my dad had passed away so I had two moms that lived in the same household and that were married to each other. And do you think as a 7th and 8th grader I went around telling people I had two moms? Because it wasn't the cool thing back then to have two moms. When I got on and I finally was able to get out of the house and get away from the drama there, I moved into a whole new section of drama in college. And I met my best friend, Holly. And Holly ended up coming from a family where she was abused. There was domestic violence and in her family, as well as um, some sexual abuse too, which led to her being a cutter, as well as to having an eating disorder. And the way I discovered this is she would say, oh, let's go get something to eat. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, and I'd eat mozzarella sticks. So instead of gaining the freshman 15, I gained like the freshman 25, because little did I know, she was always getting sick and throwing it up, and I just kept getting fluffy. Because of her experiences and my friendship with her, after being friends for three years, I actually had to go check her into a psychiatric ward because she was contemplating suicide. And that's a real scary thing. And I was there as a friend. And so sometimes you have to be there as a friend. Then when I got to um, the workplace, you know, many years have passed. I've, you know, come and done a lot of things, and I made a really good friend. And she was having trouble with her husband. She didn't really know why. Well, it turned out that the issue was, is her husband didn't want to be her husband anymore. He wanted to become a woman. And he wanted to be, go from being Jamie to being Stella. Go figure. So, just like Bruce Jenner, you just never know what's going to happen as old as you get. There's still questions and there's still problems. So there's all of these books and many more available in the teen library. And in them, you'll find friends who have problems that are just like yours. And they'll help you to know you're not alone. 
so your book can truly become a friend. And I'm here with Jeremiah. And Jeremiah, can you tell me what is your opinion of the teen library and have you used it? Yes, I have used it because it has an information in there like about bullying, drugs, and all sorts of stuff. And relationships. And sometimes even guys got questions about relationships, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I always tell you guys you can come and talk to me about anything because I've been real about my life, right? Mm -hmm. I've told you stuff that other teachers don't ever tell their kids, right? Yes. So I say, well, you can come talk to me. And one day you showed up and you were ready to talk to me. And what did I do? I chased you out, didn't I? Mm -hmm. And I felt really bad about that. And then he showed up again, and I'm like, what is this good-looking guy showing up in my library looking for a book for? So I saw Jeremiah. He showed up again, and I called him into my office. I said, so Jeremiah, do you got a problem? Do you want to talk to me about something? And you said, yes. Yes. And I said, hmm, well, let me see if we can find some books on that. Did I find the books for you? Yes. Yes, I did. And? He did use, he had the privilege of using the book covers so other people could mind their business. So check out the teen library and go ask the crazy like white lady with the color hair what to do. That would be me, the crazy white lady who gets real with you and is friendly too.